Hey, loves. So, <coughs> excuse me coughing because it's <coughs> <coughs> there's a lot of spice in the, in the air. And excuse me for, I'm wet at the moment from the water. Okay, so if I am making quills. And like I said, I really didn't have anything in my pantry. And all I had was like a packet of quills that um, I got from the local market, from farmer's market. And this is what the ingredients, I'm inventing this, okay? So, <clears throat> not inventing, but I just made it up. I had, I got one clove. You know, whole clothes. You can't see it because it's backwards, but it says whole clothes. I have put, I just meal. Dos little balls, two balls of all spice. And here's the, it says all spice, but it's backwards. All spice. I had put some, and then this is called chicken flavor bouillon, but it, sabor de boy, sabor de pollo. Now with those two cloves and all spice, I mean one cloves and two two all spice, I put it in here and I <laughs> and I smashed it up. And so this is my quills. These are my quills. I took off the skin and I have it boiling in the same water that I had boiled this. So what I did was I got four um, chile guajillos and a handful of chile japones. And the chile japones son los chiquitos, they're the thin ones. And I got a handful of those, so that it came out to like nine, nine um, chile japones and then four chile guajillos. I boiled them, and I got two big cloves. And when I say I got two cloves, big cloves, I mean like the size of this. Hold on. I'm very limited. And I had things left over. I love to cook. I just haven't gone grocery shopping. Like I said, times are hard. But, so the big clothes would be like this. I have no onion because if I had onion, I would put half an onion of white onion. Oh, like my sinuses and everything like um, it's, but the chile, I'm telling you, I ha you have to have a door open, window open because you will, everyone in, the, in, your, in your house, apartment is going to be choking. So I got this, <clears throat> two of these. And I blend this with the chili guajillos after they were boiling. And so when they bo I boiled it for like maybe 15 minutes or until it got soft. And I took out the tip because I just threw it, everything in there. You know, just the chiles, the red um, chiles. And I boiled them. And then this is what I did. I Excuse my mess. So I boiled it. Excuse my mess in the background because, see, it's dirty. Like, it's clean, but it's dirty. I have another chicken and I mean meat it's beef stew meat I'm gonna make that with carne con papa <coughs> I'm so sorry oh my god I'm dying over here okay and I'm not editing anything because it's from my phone okay I have to go wash my hands excuse me give me one minute <coughs> So my kitchen is dirty on this side because that's where I put all my all my stuff there. So, so now I'm continuously continuously wiping my phone with this. Um, <coughs> how do you call it? <coughs> um, the sunny wipes. <coughs> so sorry, so sorry. Okay. So after I had boiled the chiles, and I put I used the same broth, I mean the same chile broth, the one water. I put I use I put a cup of water in this. With the two, okay, so now with the two cloves, you do not boil that. You just put the two cloves inside the the blender, and you put the chile in here. After you rinse out the chile, um, the chile guajillos, I just clean, rinsed it out. As far as the little skinny chile japones, I didn't even bother cleaning those out. I just threw it inside the blender with two cloves of garlic. And then with the water that stayed over while it was boiling, see, I have prunes on this side. I boiled prunes because sometimes I have trouble. I'm so sorry. Let me finish one thing first. So the same water that I boiled the chile guajillos in, I put the quails inside. Season that quails with the um, with that um, 
¿Cómo se dice? With the same water that <coughs> I used for the for the chiles. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, I spent. Look, it's only been here for not even 15 minutes, and it's boiling very lovely. Oh, look at that color! It's all about done. So what I'm going to do with this invention because. I have very limited um, seasonings and spice and whatnot. I'm thinking about putting the, this this right here. Wait, this with a little bit of mole and see how that tastes, how that turns out. So, with the flavor of, of pollo. So, I wonder how that's going to be. Mm. <clears throat> Quails don't take too long to cook, especially to be boiled compared to chicken. They really have very little bit of meat on it. And this is like my first experiment, guys. My first experiment. Okay, so now let me tell you about this. So, normally, I really am embarrassed because I'm always... Ugh, I have to clean. But... My kitchen's clean. But I, I boil... Um, I get the... I get prunes, boil it with water. And then I will like blend it. I try not to blend. I actually will mash it. You know, mash it with a cup or... Because I don't have a masher for the um, mashed potatoes or bean masher. I don't have that. But and then I'm, I'll make it with water, blend it, and drink it like that. Normally, if after it's cooled down, I'll put maybe a little bit of um, almond milk or that 2% milk. But I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to drink it like that. And actually, that's a good thing. Sometimes whenever you're straining and using... Going to the lady, you know, going to the restroom or whatnot, that will help you. So, anyways, so now I'm gonna let this boil for another five minutes and then I'm going to add I'm going to add my sauce. So I'll put this here. Excuse my long cut, excuse my fat. This is like an invention, so I don't know what how it's going to turn out or how it's going to taste. But and the funny thing is, I can't. I don't know how to open this. Hmm. I never get this one, but since my sister, I think my sister brought me this. She brought me two kinds, or maybe I bought it. I don't remember. Mm -mm. I'm going to end up hurting myself. I always have bad luck. Mm. So, let me see. Let me read. I'm so bad because there's, there's the other one where you could, make, you could just go like that and you could open it. But no. Oh. bottle opener and I don't drink here so I'm SOL now you know I ain't got time for that huh I'm just opening this just as is <clears throat> voila <clears throat> okay, the mole is about, I mean, the, the quail is, yeah, it's about, yeah, listo para empezar a cocinar. What I'm going to do is <clears throat> drain out, pour out, not drain. I'm going to pour out the the juice from the quill so I can use that in a little bit the broth in a little bit 
Oh, it smells so delicious. It smells. Mmm. It has a wonderful scent to it. Now this is the quail. They really have no meat, so therefore it cooks so fast. Lower the heat, and I'm going to let me get my wipey, wipe my fingers. So now I hate my double chin, guys. Okay, so I put all that chili. I don't care about the semillas or anything. I'm being in. Now remember that it's my first time. I'm learning how to use this YouTube, so just bear with me, guys. So now I'm going to get some of this nice. It's so oily at the top of the mole. I don't like this one. I like the, I like the other one. <clears throat> There's another one, Doña Maria. Doña Maria, I like. And my favorite type of beans is going to be Goya beans. And today I'm going to use the Goya Pinto beans, the white ones. So you're just going to put as much mole as you want. A mí no me importa. Like, I really don't care. I'm just, like, inventing. And I'm just going to go based off of the flavor. Based off of the flavor. So if it tastes good, it's going to stay. Normally, if you're going to make it with a chicken, you always want to add like a little bit of peanut butter, but I'm not going to add no peanut butter. Like I said, I'm just inventing some kind of way. I have rice, but I really don't want to eat the rice right now. So I'm not going to even bother with that. I'm going to just use half of this. The rest of it I'm going to have to take out and I'm going to freeze it. <clears throat> now I'm going to put some back. I'm going to put pour a little bit of the broth back. Ay, Dios mío, está caliente. really delicious. I think I might put a little bit more salsa than more mole in here. It looks good. Smells good. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to put no more mole. I put half the can, so this is good. Once it irvas, once it starts to boil, it will have a good flavor afterwards. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I think I should make rice. I'm going to make some brown rice. I don't have white rice. I prefer white rice. Next time I'm going to make the green. Not next time, but one of these days I'm going to make the... Arroz verde, meaning green rice, but it's basically cilantro, ajo, cebolla. <clears throat> I should go for some mandados. Um, it's chopping. Mandados means, you know, shopping for food. I should go for some food, maybe. Primeramente Dios, later to, to uh, well, tomorrow for sure. As for today, I'm working with what I have. I stay by myself, so I cook for myself. And... I'll have a wonderful visit come over, maybe my sisters or siblings, other siblings, my nieces and nephews who are my bebes, <laughs> you know, I get to eat with yeah. So I'm going to add, so I want you to see, this is, so I was mixing, now you see this, it's very thick, very, very thick, which is a good, um, which is what you want, textura, the textura is bien hueso, but I'm going to add a little bit more of the broth just so we can have I don't know if you can see just so it can eat a little bit mass if it turns out to be a little bit too thick I mean too thick too watery I'll just add more 
So I had a dream of my great grandmother's earrings. So I I've been thinking about her a lot. <clears throat> May she rest in peace. Her name was Maria Navarro. Maria Herrera. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of my aunt right now. Maria Herrera. She was a little spicy woman. With some big thunder thighs. So, <clears throat> look. I actually like that how this is looking. See? So, I'm going to taste it. Let's do a taste test. Mm, don't mind my long hands, please. Don't judge me. No, me juzgas. <laughs> Okay, wait. I have like. Mm -mm. Es picoso. Hmm. Interesting. Very spicy. Mmm. I must say, it is yummy. I'm gonna just add the rest of the chicken broth because I don't wanna waste nothing. I didn't really want to, I didn't show you exactly what I did, right? But I really appreciate you looking at my video. Please hit the like, wait, hit the like button, subscribe, and push the bell. That's right there. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm going to let you guys go and love you. <laughs>